This is 941. And we have this RLC circuit, and we're looking to find the voltage across the capacitor here. The voltage across the capacitor. So we have this voltage source, and we could write this voltage source as 115 at zero degrees. And we know omega here is equal to one. See, omega is one here. Okay. So the first thing we want to find is the current coming from the voltage source. And we can do that by combining these here. So we will be trying to find the equivalent impedance, equivalent impedance for the entire circuit. And if you remember, the impedance for a resistor is equal to the resistance. The impedance for an inductor is equal to J omega times L, and the impedance for a capacitor is equal to one over J omega times C. Now, we only have one inductor in here, and that is going to be equal there, J times omega, which we said was one, times L, which is one. So that is J times one times one, which is just J. And then we have one divided by J times omega, one, times the capacitance is one. So that is one over J. And we know that is equal to negative J. So these two are equal. These two are equal. So we have the the capacitance or the uh, the inductance. I'm sorry. The the impedance. The impedance. Z is impedance. Impedance here. The impedance for all of these. So to figure out I, let's try to figure out our equivalent impedance. So I'm going to call this Z1. This is Z1, these two combined. So the impedance of the resistor plus the impedance of the inductor. The impedance of the resistor is just R, so we have one, and then the impedance of the inductor is J, so we have one plus J. Now we have we know that Z1, these two is in parallel with the impedance of the capacitor, this over here. So let's solve that quickly. So Z1 is in parallel with the impedance of the capacitor. So by doing that, we could use Z1, which is one plus J, times our capacit or our impedance for the capacitor, which is negative J, divided by one plus J plus negative J. Right? So all we're doing is combining these in parallel, or they are in parallel. And simplifying this, we have negative J uh, minus j squared divided by the j's cancel on the bottom, negative j, j, that's just one. And remember that j squared is equal to negative one. So we have negative one. So if we simplify this, we have, uh, looks like one minus j. One minus J. Okay, so we combine those two in parallel. And lastly, we then we have the circuit that looks something like this. Let me delete this over here. Let's draw this circuit. So we have our voltage source and we have our 
uh, resistor and now we have this impedance that we just found and that impedance is 1 minus J so this is 1 minus J and this resistor is 1 ohm so adding these two together we get the equivalent impedance is 1 plus 1 that's 2 minus J the equivalent impedance for an entire circuit. All right, so to figure out the current I, this current, we need to use the voltage source divided by the equivalent impedance. And the voltage source is 115 at an angle of zero degrees. And the impedance equivalent is two minus J. Now let's convert this into polar form. So two minus J, so R is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. So that is the square root of 5. And that is equal to 2.23.236. So that is the, and then theta is going to be equal to the inverse tangent, inverse tangent of uh, negative one over two. And that is negative 26. 0.57 degrees. So I is equal to 115 angle zero divided by 2.236 at an angle of negative negative 26.57. So this value, 15 divided by 2.236. We have 51.4 uh, at an angle of 26.57 degrees. So that is our current, our current here. So our current is 51. Point four at an angle of twenty six point five seven. Okay, now we will do a voltage division because this is V here. This is the V that we're looking for. The voltage across these are the voltage we're looking for. So the V here, V, V is just going to be this impedance divided by the total impedance. So that is one minus J divided by one plus 1 minus J times our voltage, which is 115 at 0 degrees. So this is just voltage division. So here, um, let's, uh, let's take a look at this part first. So on the, on the bottom here, we can simplify that 
to 2 minus j. 2 minus j. Okay. So the top, 1 minus j, we can change that. Our radius is then 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. Square root of that, that is the square root of 2. And theta up here is going to be the inverse tangent of negative 1 divided by 1. And that is equal, let's make sure I get that right, negative 45 degrees. And then let's do the bottom, 2 minus j. And we've already done that. That's up here. That is radius of 2.236. Um, let's just write that out. 2.236 at an angle of negative 26.57 degrees. So our voltage is equal to square root of 2, 1.414 at an angle of negative 45 degrees divided by 2.236 at an angle of negative 26.5. Five, seven, times 115 at an angle of zero degrees. So doing this first part, uh, 1.414 divided by 2.236, that's 0 0.632 at an angle of negative 45 minus negative 26.57 at an angle of eight, uh, negative 18.43 and then we multiply it by 115 here. So the voltage comes out to be 115.632, 72.7 at an angle of negative 18.43 degrees. Okay. So we can write the voltage now V of T equals 72.7 cosine of omega T, which is just T minus 18.43. And that is the long solution to our problem.